Now that you have the add-on Flubaroo and a quiz that needs to be graded, let's take a look at how the tool works. First, click on the add-ons menu and find Flubaroo. Click on grade assignment. The first step in the grading process is to select your grading options. If you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see that you can assign points, one through five. You could tell Flubaroo that the question identifies a student or skip grading altogether. Flubaroo will do its best job at assigning points to what it thinks are questions and skipping other identifiers. Some questions you can select to make worth more points than others. Make sure you check this page before you continue. The second step in the Flubaroo grading process is to select an answer key. A best practice is to be the first one to take your quiz after you've created it. That way your name will appear first, as mine does, and you can click on your name as the submission for the answer key. If not, you can scroll through and find your own username. Flubaroo is now grading the assignment. They say this takes a minute or two, but I always see it done in less than 60 seconds, and it's already finished. We click on View Grades. We can now see that a new tab at the bottom of the page has been created called Grades. The original page was called Student Submission. This is where all the raw data lives. The second page grades is what Flubaroo did with the data. Starting in the top left-hand corner, we can see a brief summary, how many points were possible, what the average points were, how many times the submissions were counted, and so on. Down here, we can see the actual student data. Here's the submission date and time. Here's the student's name, Mr. Bond. We can see he got eight points. 100%. He submitted one time. And here's the specific information for each question. How many points he got per question. You'll see some students are highlighted in red. These are students that scored below 70% on this assessment. Two additional features of Flubaroo are the ability to email grades if you collect a student's email addresses. You simply tell Flubaroo where to get the email address from, like the question that said email. You have options here that include a list of questions and scores. You could include an answer key, and you could type a message for students. And then simply click continue. Lastly, Flubaroo has the ability to view a report. This shows you a basic histogram and visual representation of how the data looks. Hopefully this tool Flubaroo allows you to save time on assessments in the future.